A company produces plastic bottles and can't check all of them for defects, so they check samples and look to see if they would need to make machine adjustments based on what the proportion of defective bottles would be. If they have a random sample of 400 bottles and they find that 16 are defective, what we want to know is how large a sample should be taken to achieve a margin of error of 0 0.01 with 95% confidence. So if we're trying to estimate our population proportion P based on our sample proportion of P hat, which here is 16 out of 400, or 0 0.04, we can use this value as a guess for what our population proportion might be to aid us in finding out how large a sample should be taken to achieve the error that we want. So we have a formula that is a rearrangement of the error for our confidence interval. And it says that if you rearrange everything, your sample size n is your z value, which we call z star, squared, times your proportion, times 1 minus your proportion, over the desired amount of error squared. So for the p, we can replace with this with a guess, like the p hat we have. Or if we didn't have a guess, you can replace it with the value of 0.5, giving you the largest possible n that you would ever get. 95% confidence corresponding to a z star of 1.96. So we get 1.96 squared. We're going to replace p with our p hat of 0.04. And we're told that our error should be 0.01. So when you calculate this value, what you will end up with is something that's not a whole number, but you'll get 1475.174. The rule for the sample size problems is to always round up to the next integer value, the next whole number. We never want to chop off and round down because then our sample is not going to be big enough. So even though we only have a 0.174 at the end, we're going to round up and we find that the sample size that we need is 1476.